vagus nerve may be playing a role in this because people who have post-traumatic stress disorder also show poor vagal tone, meaning their vagus nerve is not responding to stress as it does normally. Um, the reason we think the vagus nerve needs to be involved in this is because it's, it initiates the parasympathetic response. So when you experience a stress or a stressor, you have a release of adrenaline from the adrenal glands. And adrenaline can enhance memory, actually, which you can think of as adaptive, because if you experience something that's important for your survival, then you should remember that. If you're a lion in the desert, you should remember where the water was. Or if you, if you reach an intersection and you almost have an accident, you should be careful the next time you reach that intersection. So it's important for us to remember those things. And we think adrenaline is contributing to it because we can administer adrenaline and enhance long-term memory. The thing is that adrenaline doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier. So how is it helping us to store memories if it doesn't even get into the brain? These memories aren't happening in the bloodstream, we think. But what we think is happening is that the adrenaline binds to receptors on the vagus nerve, and then the vagus nerve is stimulated, and it helps to promote plasticity in the brain, which underlies memory. And it feeds back on our sympathetic nervous system to slow the heart rate and to help our bodies to rest and digest. So that adrenaline release is part of the sympathetic response. It helps us to fight and flee, and it helps us to remember the important things. And then the vagus nerve is stimulated, and it slows that response, returns us to a homeostasis. And people who get vagus nerve stimulation for epilepsy and depression, they say that they feel a sense of calm when they're getting this stimulation. So it would make sense that this sense of calm comes from that parasympathetic response. Um, and it turns out that people who get vagus nerve stimulation for depression score much lower on anxiety tests. So we think that vagus nerve stimulation could be a really practical therapy for people who have post-traumatic stress disorder.